É pau, é pedra, é o fim do caminho É um resto de toco, é um pouco sozinho É um caco de vidro, é a vida eu sou É a noite, é a morte, é o laço anzol Did you know, in Spider-Man 2, the black and Puerto Rican Spider-Man has the wrong flag in his home? This is a Cuban flag. Insomniac Games would know this if they listened to the fans years ago when this happened the first time. Did you know? Spider-Man 2 has a taiyaki stand run by a Japanese man with Japanese music playing. I didn't know Japanese people called pretzels taiyaki. And neither did you. Because they don't. Because it's not. Here's what that looks like until the woke people get searches to be even more strict than they already are with what they show you. Did you know? Despite being the fans' most hated sequences from the first iteration, the Mary Jane stealth portions return and have a 40-year-old Mary Jaw making short work of rooms full of enemies that might give a superhero trouble. Did you know? Insomniac needed to rewrite another culture's language because they believed their made-up words were more inclusive since Spanish is a gendered language and the white saviors who shall remain nameless, the heroes they are, decided for everyone that their new speak is how people should be speaking. Here's a reaction with 7 million views of a streamer hearing this nonsense and opting to turn off the Danacast. I think it's hysterical that Jameson's podcast can be turned off here at all. As if anyone buying a Spider-Man game wouldn't love to hear Jameson, but of course anyone really into the Danacast would probably find Jameson mean and scary. I digress. Did you know? You can play as a deaf black girl and spray graffiti and that can some, you know, they mute the noise because that's what the deaf experience is like. Uh, it, 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 she shakes the can and then there's a different color coming out of the can. You know, I, I, they didn't think about it, so so why should we, I guess, you know what I mean? And you're not playing as this character because Spider-Man shows up because like you're you're playing from the bad guy's perspective and then he just comes in and kicks your ass and then you're, you're piloting him. This is actually uh, Miles Morales, the other Spider-Man's girlfriend because he's in the game too. Spider-Man may be on the box, but this is Spider-Man and Miles Morales who calls you a lot in a way that I guess no developers at Insomniac thought gamers might connect to Nico Bellic's cousin calling you to bowl all the time. But it's all just a lazy way of having Peter have to tell Miles he needs to call him back all the time because he's, uh, it's on the tip of my tongue here, uh, he's Spider-Man. And maybe, just maybe, the person who would understand that best is Miles Morales, the Cuban or Puerto Rican, who cares? Your language is whatever I decide it to be. Like and subscribe or I'll kill your language next. You want to say hello to my white out bitch? You'll get on your knees, Peter Parker, and you'll kiss that black Spider-Man on the foot and you'll kiss that Mary Jane on the ass. Oh wait, that's her face. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mary Jane. <laughs> It's for the fans. Ah! <laughs> Game of the year? Oh, you're taking the piss. I'd soon have vote for King Kong than this. Subscribe. Hello, beta testers. Perhaps you've noticed a pattern. I no longer have to convince the layman that there is a failing effort to downgrade women because it's blatantly apparent. We can now move on to why. Why the endeavor to diminish, dilute, and androgenize exclusively females? Well, the push to frame beautiful women as unrealistic hinges on people ignoring reality. Victoria's Secret tried and recently was forced to come to their senses. To be concise, everybody knows a pretty woman. Most people were not confined to a single room with access only to woke media for the duration of their lives. But let's say things the Kyle way. Men catalog every sexy woman that they come across for later access during shower meat beatings. And we've done so as early as when we were young enough to still have to hide from the family. I know that girls do this too and not less than the men, but equal if not more. 
but the lonely, dyed-haired goblins are shrouded in a fog of fart so thick that they can't see logic right in front of them, and even if they could, it's very dark that far up the ass. Please get me at least 4,000 likes on this video so that this hopefully reaches some of the women gamers too. Women, I speak for the beta testers. We would never seek to rob you of the satisfaction and release that comes with whomever fits your definition of attractive, however they identify. You are not only allowed but encouraged in your preference and we only seek the same courtesy extended to us. But before you even say anything, we are well aware you are not the problem. But this doesn't stop without your help. Women knew men enough to know any desexualization would only crash and burn. The alternatives that California is driving men towards are entirely worse than anything that you pussies can imagine. Women, you're beautiful, compassionate, lovers, mothers, you are kind to a fault. You are actively being manipulated by sad people who seek only to bring others down. It's a cult. I know this video should be about Sony and its soy, but if they refuse to listen and act on the data they have access to, they'll travel closer to apathy and it's only a matter of time. We've observed empires that did everything right, still fail. This one's got it coming. Insomniac used to be what PlayStation had going as far as I was concerned, but I will not be purchasing any more. When I think Insomniac games now, all I think is ugly mystique, ugly Emma Frost, ugly storm. That shit has nothing to do with me or any man, and if you really can't manage genuine equality, then we really wish you'd just be quiet with all the activism performances, the inclusivity bit is stale, it's tired, and this language reinventing, which will colonize our ass, man, your studio is paused as shit, be embarrassed, be ashamed, studio clearly don't care enough to consult anybody so long as they can hire the token ethnics to get those high review scores right. If ugly is what the West wants to specialize in, then people will wait for an Eastern alternative since the agenda, hopefully, won't get in the way of advancing technology. The Patreon artists making insane amounts of money monthly, catering to the desires of the fans the same way that AI does before people neuter it, that's what the woke does. It neuters, sanitizes, desexualizes everything that it touches. It's a reverse Midas touch where it's a pronoun kiss of death and everything turns to poop. They'll hire another pretty actress to ugly her up and then digitally craft a body worse than every top TikTok or Twitch body painter that you'll ever see and deserve for something that you're paying for. This woke shit will be such a laughable bump in history, but thank God. It's finally starting to go away. Beta testers, I could say the Discord mod women and all most women self-inserting their fat ugly asses into media are paradoxically calling you sexist when they them are meticulously reducing women and masculine features like description is hate, science is hate. At the moment, simply holding up a mirror to their actions is enough for them to villainize you because even though they apparently have the right to reject science, us rejecting their lunacy with like their cult ideologies, that gets us labeled a bigot. Democracy bad because voting and statistics are only good when they reinforce your narrative. Oh shit. They have a new definition of everything, including what tolerance means. And if you don't agree, People are literally going to be consequenced and submitted for re-education. It's not cult tactics, though, because they don't call it a cult, I guess. The goal is to divide. You reserve the right to tell they, them to go fuck themselves, and that's what I want you to do. I'm asking you to subscribe, because I think 
the only thing that's going to save any of us is having the SS sniper wolf kind of high following so people just bend to your will, you know what I mean? If every single one of you likes and subscribes to this, we'll be at 100k by the end of the month. Do it and I'll show you what else you can do. Here's some footage from Project Mugen, and I'm not even going to say anything, all right? I've been talking about how Grand Theft Auto, if it goes too woke, there will be a Grand Theft Auto alternative that is not woke, that have, brings the jiggle physics that some of us are looking for. You ever watch a movie on TV, but the music's way louder than the dialogue? The music is the woke. You ever get a shopping cart that you can't push right because of one of the wheels? The wheel is the woke. Don't repeat that to me outside of this video. Don't, don't. Don't comment that on this video and like and subscribe, you know what I mean? Whoever has my voodoo doll, please stop working the ass so hard, all right? Because I'm not a game developer, so I don't like it. Liking it is the woke. When playing Spider-Man 2, you can encounter a hostage, and after kicking ass, you can swing them to the ambulance. A means of flexing the fact that you can carry people and swing around it with them, but all I could think was how Venom might slam dunk a hostage onto the stretcher and how funny that would be. I mean, he saved him. You know what I wanted? I wanted something like when you're swinging with the hostage, you have a barf meter. And if you swing just just awful enough, you can get him to throw up. And maybe you'll have some screams, some guy and girl screams for the, the, the different genders of the hostage. Or more genders, of course. You know, you guys just suck so much ass. You could have even had devs voicing these people screaming if you wanted to be in the damn game so bad. But it's obvious today's devs are not interested in fun. And couldn't even imagine what players might want. Even if they did, the woke weight would force safety and ugly ESG designs. Because some untalented, out of touch and inexperienced pendejo is calling shots on something that it has nothing to do with the project. If you guys don't have consultants, if you don't have people looking like this, pack it up, you know? Baldur's Gate, man, it's a slam dunk. Insomniac did the impossible, beta testers, and I want you to comment and just tell me if I'm overreacting. But they dragged down a Spider-Man game with Tony Todd voicing Venom. They shattered the hopes of anybody who thought a Wolverine game would mean X-Men characters coming to life as beautifully as possible. You know, accurate like Spider-Man was. But these motherfuckers are drinking the Kool-Aid. And their fruity cult has convinced them that excluding equals inclusivity. Like ESG money is one thing, but these guys going way further, destroying these women. And the players will be willing to show you that it matters enough for them to make some different decisions. It's so easy to laugh at Call of Duty because the SBMM is ruining it and America can't even manage a good gun game. Western Gaming, the second that there's competition, you become the inferior choice. Let the bastards make the games.